Michael Please No. I am the Civil War Games guy. I write code for Civil War Games. I do my doodles every day. Uh, you might know me from Twitter as Michael Please No or any other. I got Michael Please No handle lots of places. And I'm doing a series of game dev feedbacks. And I saw this game, uh, Terror Squid, uh, which is a shoot 'em up. It is a shmup. And I thought, oh, I made a shmup once called Don't Shoot Yourself, which you may have heard of. And I thought I should try this, particularly because it seems to be one of the dodge your own bullet kind of uh, shmups. So now I had to give it a try. Uh, so here we go. Uh, let me see what the high scores is. High scores is just, it seems like a local list. It just says user, well, so that's interesting. User three, user one, daily. daily. Z, let me see, press the Z key. All time X. Oh, okay, Z, so that's interesting. Z is moved to the left, X is moved to the right. That's kind of, I see what it is, because there's a, there's an X and a Z at the top. There seems to be a lot of users. I don't know whether you can set your own name. How do I get out of this? Escape? Escape. Okay. Escape escaped. All right, here we go. Uh, let me, let me try play. All right. I got hit by my own voice. All right, well, so that's... That is as I anticipated. I, th I thought the bullets would come around kind of sooner, actually. becomes really difficult to do anything. So I, it, it may be, it may be that uh, I need to get a joystick in order to actually do this. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause the video for a second and uh, come back with a controller and see if a controller works. Terror squid. Okay, hi, I am back. Uh, I reconnected my controller because the keyboard controls were a little annoying. It was sort of, it just launched you right in one direction. So let me try it again with a joystick. So, with, in Don't Shoot Yourself, what it turned out to be was a pattern. It turned out to be... So, in Don't Shoot Yourself... 
yourself, it turned out that there was a pattern you could follow that meant you could just play for arbitrarily long periods of time. And that was how I designed the next step of Don't Shoot Yourself, was to realize that it was more about finding a good pattern and less about uh, trying to dodge the bullets. So let me see if I can come up with a good uh, way to game these things. up to like maybe four, 30 or 40 seconds and then I might call it on this one. Uh, I wish there were more levels. Like I wish there was more. So like once I've played the circle, the sphere, it would be cool if there were different shapes or different like a, a donut instead of a sphere or I can get up to 30 seconds and, and, and that'll be my, my end time for this. works on the, on the sphere. Okay, well that was it, that's doable. I'm starting to get the hang of it. I think I understand the trick. of the bullet pattern and because it's a sphere there's a spiral that I can make around the sphere that actually means that I should be able to play this for an arbitrarily long period of time. One sec.
31. Game so since I've over. sort of figured out the trick to it, let me see if I can do even longer. Because I, I think I think I get the whole pattern here. If you just keep slowly edging to the right, you can you can make. Oh, I didn't go. I, I was a little little too slow. Oh yeah, and having a different song each time, like a randomized, like choosing from a library of songs would be good. Got it. One more try, and then I'll and then I'll close and do my summary thoughts. Well, that was that's a do over. That's one more time, and then I'll do it. Oh come on! That's, that's, that doesn't even count. randomized library of songs so that you know because the one song you have that does the do 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 you know it's a nice song you know again the music and the presentation and the graphics are lovely i love the, the 3d effects i love the, the the kind of arcade asteroids kind of 3d thing that's great um the music is really good it's just there's only one song which gets kind of grating when you have to restart it over and over again um, and yeah, I would have, I would do this as a level-based progression where each, uh, each level is a different shape or has different, uh, different kind of patterns that you have to master each level. So, you know, maybe each level takes 30, you have to, you have to play it for 30 seconds and then you move on to the next level with a different twist on it. That's sort of my take on it. But this is a really interesting concept, and it, it does remind me of my old personal game, uh, Don't Shoot Yourself, which, uh, if anybody's watching this, feel free to check it out. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll put a, a, a link to this, or to Don't Shoot Yourself, in the, uh, in the description. And, of course, uh, if you're looking to have your game played, or to get feedback on your game, I'm willing to do a private feedback session. I'm willing to do public feedback sessions. Uh, I'm, I'm happy. Just message me, Michael Please Know. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. I'm on everything. Michael Please Know. Um, and uh, I'd be happy to play your video. And of course, since this is YouTube, first of all, I'm supposed to say some weird word. Wuggala do. So that's, I was told by YouTube's uh, thing that having my own catchphrase is important, so Wuggala do is now my catchphrase. And uh, also, make sure to hit like and subscribe and the little notification thing. And also, um, whenever there's a new video, uh, shoot up legal fireworks into the sky and uh, celebrate. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks for uh, stopping by, and this has been uh, another session of Game Dev Feedback. Thank you.